hey y'all welcome back to the channel it's taj and i'm back today with some more free tea so as you guys read by the title i manifested well over ten thousand dollars in less than a week so y'all know how i like to do i'm just gonna go ahead and jump into this story time i'm gonna let you guys know everything that i did everything that happened before the actual manifestation came through and just giving y'all all the tea okay honestly it wouldn't be right for me to spill the tea without giving a huge shout out to or health Aura has played a major role in assisting me in maintaining my desired state. I walk about 10,000 steps a day, every day, while enjoying a variety of gratitude meditations from Aura. All things gratitude have literally been my thing lately, but Aura is not just a gratitude app. It is actually an all-in-one, all-inclusive app ranging from not only gratitude meditations, but EFT tapping, one-on-one -on -one coaching, breath work, podcasts, live streams, and more. So if you are looking for an all-in-one app that provides content around the law of assumption, gratitude, anxiety, stress, and more, then Aura is definitely the answer. If this sounds like something that you would enjoy, you can get started today for free and the first 500 people to use the link down below will get a free trial to the Aura membership plus an exclusive 25% off the Aura membership. Thanks so much to Aura Health for sponsoring today's video. So about a week and a half to about two weeks ago, I'll say two weeks at max at best, but I feel like it was like a week ago or a week and a half. Um, I randomly started affirming along with other things that I was affirming. I started affirming for $5,000 and I wanted this $5,000 to just kind of have extra to play with, to kind of pay some, um, my rent and things like that up for a few months. Um, just something like that, right? I wanted an extra $5,000. I've basically been doing like a gratitude prayer to God every morning and every night so every morning when i'm consciously uh, when i'm when i'm aware that i'm awake before i even get out of the bed before i even open my eyes good i just start doing my um, gratitude prayer and i do the same exact thing every single night obviously the law of assumption says that um you want to think as the version of yourself that already has it if you already have the things that you desire how would that version of you be like basically what state would that version of you be in most of the time and when i think about myself when i think about if i had every single thing that i desire right now in this moment my a part of my everyday routine would be to just wake up every single morning and just give gratitude and thanks to God for everything that I have for literally all of my blessings and I would be calling those blessings by name and I would do the same exact thing every night I can just picture it right now I can see myself doing that so I thought well if I'm going to think as if the version of myself that already has it and also the Bible says when you pray for something, I think it's Mark eleven twenty four. 24, if I'm not mistaken, I'll put it on the screen. But it basically says when you ask for something in prayer, go forth as if that prayer has already been answered, like it's already done. Same thing with the, the same thing that we speak about in manifestation. So I've been waking up every single morning for the past week doing a gratitude prayer of like, um, God, I thank you for blessing me with the five thousand dollars god i thank you for that god i thank you for this right i'm just in the spirit of gratitude as soon as i wake up and as soon as i go to bed and it feels so good and at night one of my friends pointed out to me that it's almost like i'm because in the morning i'm starting my day in a state of gratitude and at night i'm kind of sealing the deal sealing that state shut with another state of gratitude as i go to sleep so keep in mind that um also in my membership channel in my membership group if you guys want to join the channel membership you should the link is down below in the description box but in my membership group we talked recently about how um sometimes a lot of people in my group and a lot of people that i've been coaching also if you want coaching also that link will be down in the description box below as well but we were talking about how so many of them were like why when i start affirming for something or why when i start praying for something or however you choose to go about it why does it seem like my 3d is getting worse right so we were talking about all that so so since we were talking about that and as i'm stating here i have been affirming or doing my gratitude prayer every morning for all of the things that i wanted including the five thousand dollars basically being thankful for it already being here as though i already have it you guys 
so many things I, I pretty so many things started to come up once I started being consistent and every morning and every night just affirming in this way so many external things in the 3d started to come up that were polar opposite to what I was affirming literally almost two thousand dollars of money has been spent out right and I feel like this was the way this was this was a way of like the old story testing me like are you truly who you say you are you truly the person that you've affirming that you've been affirming yourself to be are you truly the person that you've been praying that you are basically like my external world or the old version of me or the old state was testing me to see am I truly the version of myself that already has all of these desires right am I that person and so it's like if you are that person you're you're not going to react or respond in a certain way you're just going going to continue to affirm in the midst of the 3d changing so mind you this was my 3d just acting a complete fool I recognized it for what it was I'm like nope Mm -mm, this is a test this is trying to get an emotional reaction out of me this is trying to get the old version of me to come out this is trying to get me to doubt everything that I've understood and everything that I know to be true which is I I have it all right now right and so all of that settled and literally Friday this past Friday um, something else in the 3d came up I had two financial setbacks on top of all the other financial setbacks that I just mentioned I had two financial setbacks Friday I had two phone calls back to back that was just like basically like some deals that I thought were going to go through they were like you know no we we basically can't do it you know and in that moment I'm not gonna lie I had like a 10 minute moment where I was just like I felt gut punched because I'm like I've been doing my gratitude prayer I've been trusting God not trying to figure out the how I'm just leaving it all to God right that it's it's all gonna be done I know that it's already done whatever whatever so like why is all of this happening it was really a gut punch so within that 10 minutes I think I went and I screamed in a pillow or something because like what was really happening but after that 10 minutes something came over me and I was like this is another test this is another test from my old version, that old reality, that old identity, that old self trying to still hang on for dear, dear life and trying to get an emotional reaction out of me to see am I going to fold or keep the faith? Are you going to fold? Or are you going to keep the faith? And so I gathered myself after those 10 minutes and I said, you know what? Nope, it's already done. I am the version of the myself that has everything that I want and I started again in my gratitude prayer God thank you for the five thousand dollars God thank you for this God thank you for that thank you that it's already been done thank you that I didn't have to lift a finger to get the things that I want thank you thank you thank you I just went on this rampage of affirming and gratitude to God right my only job is to trust and to know that it's already done it's already done think as if the version of yourself Think like the version of yourself that already has everything that you want. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So after those 10 minutes, I gathered myself and I remembered that I had put it all in God's hands. I had put it all in God's hands and I trusted and I knew that I already have everything that I need. So I went about my day. You guys, the very next day, I got a phone call at seven o'clock in the morning. Um, I was still asleep. So when I woke up, I called the person back. And without going into too much detail about this person, um, just know that this person was just like, hi, Taj, you know, you are on my heart. And I just wanted to say how proud I am of you. You know, you left your career of education. You've really been sticking by this um, YouTube thing. I've just been following your journey, whatever, whatever. And I'm just really proud of your success so far. And I want to make an investment into you to so that you are free from any um like any external stresses stresses or stressors such as like bills or rent or anything like that right and i want to give you the freedom to fully focus on your passion which is doing youtube and coaching and studying the law of assumption and all things mindset and this person said i want to make an investment in you this person invested ten thousand dollars plus into me 
the very next day that I had had all of these financial setbacks and all of these like tests from the old story, the old identity, because I pushed through the very next day, I received a phone call from a person saying that they were investing into my dreams and my goals. And the check has been written, signed, sealed and delivered, honey. So that's how I manifested over $10,000 in a week. I was only doing the gratitude prayer for, for maybe a week and a half. I feel like it's really been only a week that I've been just, you know, in this state of gratitude twice a day and not just twice a day, all throughout my day. Of course, as I go throughout my day, because I start my day with gratitude, thanking God for the things that I already have, including my desires. And then at night I'm sealing the, sealing the deal. When I'm going off to sleep, I'm literally praying a gratitude prayer of thankfulness for all the things that I have in in my desired reality. And so, yeah, that's how I manifested well over $10,000 in one week. But I want to leave you guys with this. When, if you know you've been affirming, if you know you've been consistent and persistent in your prayer, and if you know that you've been thinking as the version of yourself that already has what they want consistently, and your 3D reality is seemingly going the opposite direction or going left, just know that it's going left because it's about to go right for you. So don't get distracted. Realize when the 3D is going the opposite way. Realize that it's it's literally just the old identity trying to hold on for dear life trying to get an emotional reaction out of you because your ego mind and what it's the state that it's been accustomed to does not want you to change it doesn't want change it feels like change is a threat to its identity okay and so this this old identity um it's just trying to get an emotional reaction out of you so that you can reactivate it with those emotions. But don't fold, keep the faith, and this could be you, okay? This could be you. So use this as motivation, inspiration. If it happened to me and if you are hearing this, it's about to happen to you. Whatever it is that you desire, keep the faith because it is already yours. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little story time slash success story of mine. Leave me some comments down in the comment section below. Let me know what else you guys want to hear and see from me. So until next time, sending you guys nothing but peace, love, and blessings. Happy manifesting.